uh, in their first matchup. They've got to come out here, but let's see what FaZe is able to do off the rip, kicking things off with Enable. Trophy out, nades out, looking for kills here early. And talk to me a little bit about this first hard point, Jack, and what they're trying to do. So it's going to be... Obviously, some machine guns watching these close kind of flanks to the hard point. That was Zuma just looking in towards bricks. Now he's just playing for cover. The assault rifle so key on keeping the area clear because watch, study gets in that power position top barn, cuts down Zuma with ease. That's where you need Clayster. Obviously, enable watching over. There's some machine guns covering them there. Phase out to an early lead, looking solid on this game one. Looking good so far. We'll stick with Zuma for a bit, just covering Elwell right now. Looking to rotate back, as you can see on the minimap. Basically, no aggression coming from the backside tracks. Now looking for more on a two streak here. Phase out, slaying early. Wow. Give him one more. Zuma hot here off the rip. They're doing everything right. They have Zuma inside the hard point. He's staying in here, staying alive, doing what he can for his team. Finally. It doesn't go his way, but the entire kill feed so far has been phased. Obviously, we know so much with Luminosity. Saints, one of their main slayers. He's currently sitting at one and four. We're still watching phase though, as they begin the rotation towards auto. Yeah, we'll stick with them off the break here just to see if they're able to hop, and it's gonna be enabled flying in. RK5 not able to do it. Let's go to the POV here of Luminosity for a bit as you've got Spacely watching back alley. Trying to get the second. Unfortunately, all of his shots in the dirt. <laughs> not gonna connect with those there. He's gonna try to follow this one up though. Clayster, close range that RK5 so lethal and now they're spawning out. Yeah, look how this far out he's This is where it can begin to get scary. Phase, they want to fight for this area. Thankfully, Luminosity have actually gotten three players, all four actually now spawning up in Grandma's. They're going to do what they can to contest, but with the hill rotating over towards Grannies now, they're more than fine with just saying, guys, let's not feed them streaks. It's exactly what they're going to do. They're yeah. going to fall back, play for the full 60. This one could swing this game back. Bring it closer, because right now, Faces is completely running away and with this. And Spacely, ah, uh, he is in a key position there <laughs> to try and hold down tracks, but drops immediately as three go to push. It's enable soaking up the final couple seconds in garbage time, and now he's going to rotate across, try to pick up kills. Now, let's see where his spawn comes in. So he's going to spawn out. He's got a wrap back here. Not going to be able to get into the action very quickly at all. Let's see if he can fly in front window. His team's starting to pressure the back. He's going to try to come in through the front, and there's one. You saw the heat wave go off. Cannot pick up both. It's Spacely inside, nice shutting it down. He's got the heat wave to work with now. Let's see him lock it down. They have specialists to work with. They have the spawns. Luminosity, this is your chance now to bring this game back. Faze are going for a three-man hit down middle. Spacely's just staying alive inside the hard point. Smoke's now out as well. They're using that as a means of covering that line. What? Enable through the heat wave. Hits the beat down right there. You Enables can't, though. You can't die the there. Piece. <laughs> you thought that wasn't going to work out. But in the end, Enable gets a kill. Pressure still coming in as Spacely's going to fight for back low. Spacely trying to get to the back, not able to pick it up. you got 10 seconds left. Now he's spawning the whole way out back alley. So he's going to have to wrap back across mid-map, try to get set up towards tracks here and get some time. They're trailing by 50, Jack. They've got to turn up, and they need Saints to get going. He's a guy we talk about, like a perennial all-star. He has been a top slayer for years and years and years. They need that to go up against a phase team who has four dominant slayers. Especially when he's one of their main submachine gun players on this map. Right, we know the strengths of Zuma and Attach. He needs to match that slang. Right now, they're doing what they can. Luminosity looking to bring it back. They've got the setup you want, but they can't let FaZe get this pinch. They need to get these first couple kills, relieve the pressure from one side so they can consistently spawn up and flood the hard point right now. It looks like kills are being traded, but FaZe do get the break. Well, FaZe has got the break, so let's go on with them. Enable doesn't care about your psychosis. Picking up the shots. You got two more on X-Ray. Pushing in. He's tagged up. He will drop. Let's see where the spawn comes in for him. He's got to rotate the whole way back. We've only got 10 seconds on track. This is a pretty good position to set up when we start with the first hard point again. Yeah, this is completely fine. FaZe are going to wind up looking to get that similar setup we saw earlier in the game. You want to have Zuma oh, or oh, Nabal inside the hard point. Clayster not working out for him there with the RK5 whipping some shots, but now this is where the flashy plays can happen. Tempest is out. Ooh. One kill already. Now surveying for more. I love the spot he's playing in. He's picking up his flank. He's hitting the hip fire shots. Clayster. Don't do it to him. Don't do it to him, please! Almost. With two more, with the third. Oh, no. oh, I have one too, buddy. <laughs> that was Study, I believe, pulling it out, but he was cleaned up by Zuma almost immediately. Now it's going to be Saints at the hard point. He's going to drop. It'll be Spacely's turn to try. He's going to wrap around the back. He has Heat Wave to work with, with it as well. Jack in there. They're down 40, but Luminosity is still in this one. They're, they're keeping this one close. It's not as dominant as the performance we saw from FaZe in the first couple hills. Study. Beautiful three-piece there in your kill feed. We're going to keep on with Spacely, though. Hasn't used this heat wave yet. I want to see him save it 
for this next hard point. Use it as a tool but to potentially break in. These are some crucial kills now on rotation. Namels going to lead the charge with the AR. He's got Spacely watching over as well. And LG, they should get this hill on the rotation. And now they're going to look to rack up the score. But there's a Scythe on so both sides. Ah, Scythe on Scythe, who's going to be able to win it. The Heat Wave comes in. That's a big one because it feeds the kills into Nameless. Spacely and Study starting to clean up the rest. Look now, at the score. Look at Study here. This eight streak has 25 been 25 off the server. He's only 25 off, so this Cerberus would be absolutely huge. And yeah, look at the score. They've got 40 seconds left from this hard point, and they are holding it down, but Spacely needs to get this Cerberus. Could be enormous. Just an assist or a kill, and there it is. He's fully streaked out. He's working towards the Tempest, and Study, the difference maker that they need yeah. right now, and he's staying alive even through the heat wave. Study and Nameless have been so impressive as of late for Luminosity. Unfortunately, there a beautiful heat wave actually hits three players on Luminosity. They get cleaned out with ease. But look, three players of LG now rotating towards Grandma's for these back spawns. They get the kills they need. They're going to be in control of this hard point. And now this is where, if they can hold these first 30, 40 seconds, Clint, they'll take the lead in this game. I'm sticking with study here, Jack, because I want to see what he opts to use. If we see some streaks come out, can maybe the Cerberus assist him here? Is he going to clear out some spawns with the Hellstorm and Lightning? But he's setting up in the anchor position. He's looking to lock down these spawns, Jack. I'm wondering, too, do they have any trophies to bring into play to protect what? this Cerberus from EMP somehow with the RK5? Continuing to stay alive. Live. They're just going to keep getting these back spawns. You'll see in your mini-map, LG going to keep flooding in. Study is still spawning up, even with a phase player pitching in. Now Hellstorm has been brought out. Streak's going to be used. They know how important this time is. FaZe had an 80-second lead earlier, and now Luminosity are within 10. Luminosity fighting back in a big way. Study's got to rotate into the hard point here to try and make plays. On X-Ray, he's got some pushing in. Finds Whoa. the BMP. The shot's off, but the M8's better. Able to pick that up, and here's a second! Ooh. Turning and burning. The Tempest locked and loaded as well. We got to stick with Study because he has these streaks to use, and he has this power up in the Tempest that might be good to use here on Tracks, Jack. He rotates right back on up as well. Luminosity will take their first lead of the game and you know the crowd's getting a little bit quieter now as the phase fans are realizing that hey this one is not going to be easy at all clayster at the edge of rails doing what he can now nameless pushing out of top grannies you know he's going to be that same guy watching over those long sight lines currently oh. sitting at even 25 and 25. And he was on a bit of a streak there too i exactly. think five or six jack he was starting to get closer maybe building on some kill streaks but not able to do so Space Lee finding a fourth, able to connect with the hit fire, and they're pulling open the lead. 20-point yep. advantage now trying to bury FaZe. This is beautiful stuff from Luminosity. Well, what they're doing is they're rotating and winning the kills on rotation. I'm sure our analyst is going to talk about that. They've done it on, what, three of the last four hard points. They've also did a great job using their specialists. You saw Space Lee pop that heat wave at Little Room just a little bit ago. Now he's got two streaks to work with. Oh, man, this is this is a 90-second swing, Maven, in the last three hills. Well, the, the big thing really is can they keep up with the slang of this phase side? And so far, they can't. Yep. Study and Spacely having big games, starting to build toward these streaks. The Tempest gets shut down, oh. burying them all. Oh. Nameless can't connect with the final couple shots. But let's actually go back to Study real quick, because I want to see. OK, so he's used everything but the Cerberus, Jack. Yep. He does have the Tempest still to use here. Where would you think it'd be most beneficial to drop this Cerberus? I mean, I, I, I don't see why you don't even, you could wind up dropping it here, maybe save it for auto if you want to get a full 60 on the next hill. Right now, study in this power position behind White Truck. They've got trophies down as well if they need it. Luminosity are running away with this game. They also have Spacely, who still has two streaks. And what's working out so well is you have Nameless and Study doing a great job slaying around the hard point. And you have very selfless play from Saints and Spacely getting in the objective. But he just swapped over to Clayster, and he's got full streaks of his own. Yeah, we'll stick with Clayster through the spawn here and see how he might opt to use these. But what's impressive for me is still just the fact that Luminosity, I expected this game could be close, you yes. would think. But you would think that FaZe would have a pretty significant slaying margin because they usually do. Yeah. They haven't been able to get that separation. They did. It was, what, the opening couple minutes of gameplay. They were kind of stomping, but the comeback from Luminosity wow. is real. And Clayster's M8 is heating up in a big way. And yeah. he's got the streaks. Oh, the it's Cerberus, the Cerberus, 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 the final battle bots! Transformers in Call of Duty is here, folks. As now you're going to have robots fighting each other, people fighting each other. The crate drops in. Where, where do I even go to? They're all going to get mutilated. There are kills all over the map. EMP's coming in as well. Luminosity still in control of the objective. Phase now swarming in. It's been contested for 15 <laughs> straight seconds. 
25 points between these two teams. But I think finally, now that the dust has settled, Luminosity are back in control. They've got 20 more seconds to work with here, Maven. They're looking to take full command. And that Cerberus ends up shutting down the Tempest of Study. I thought maybe <laughs> he was going to pull that out to try and pick up the kills. There's one laying prone. He doesn't spot it. Two down for Luminosity. The Psychosis is out, and Saints is pushing forward, trying to pick up kills. This next Grandma's Hill is everything. Yep. You've got 15 seconds left. The early rotation has already begun. Let's hop to the back with Enable, because yes. he's going to have some key gunfights back here. Bays know how important this is. I want to see Luminosity begin to use their streaks for this hard point. They know they can win off Grannies if they get one break and hold it from here. Phase, everything relies on holding off this first push. Enable already sees multiple enemies pushing in. You've got a Sight, Cerberus, and a third player pushing out of back 10. Kills now being traded. Well, Study, Study took control of the Cerberus, was. actually, yeah. And that actually, that, that was smart. He put it in a better position. Phase still in control of this hard point, and with 50 seconds remaining on Grannies, Luminosity have to continue to fight for this. And Clayster's on yet another streak, and he has the lightning, the hell, uh, lightning in the dark to work with it. The ops too. Please just get the black sound. What is this? <laughs> I, I, have we seen that at all in the CWO? No. Welcome to MLG Anaheim, where we've got Black Cells killing Cerberus on the map. Now more score streaks coming in. Luminosity, they've gotten that break though, Maven. And now FaZe have to push this down they, to the final second. They could win the game. They could win it here if they exactly. get a perfect hold. Can Luminosity shut it out and take the game? Are they going to be able to pick it up? Dart coming in. We've seen it all. Enable trying to make plays. Spacely trying to get in. Shuts down the site. They're at 240. They'll get to about 245-ish here if they lock down the last couple points. And FaZe is in trouble. This is going to be a tough one for FaZe to get the break. Challenges still coming in. Now they're trying to push out the spawns, right? You can't let Luminosity get the pinch. Placer still alive with the Tempest. Let's go ahead and see what he can get up and no. He drops immediately. He gets cut down. Luminosity pushing in. This could be the final break of the game. And this is for number 50. Can Study drop the opening 50 bomb here? Trying to fight it. Nades everywhere. Can't get it. It's 49. <laughs> Faze is holding on somehow. You need five points for Luminosity. I love this. Where are they going to find I him? I love this angle being held by Enable right now. He's going to have a player challenge. Oh. Right he landed on top of you, face now back within 20. They can still come back in this game. Attach, heat wave is going to be everything. Three, two, one, pop it, attach, no! He doesn't pop it, he ends up dropping. They've got to hold on. Enables tagged up, they're all flying in. Clayster trying to contest, he drops. You still have Zuma here, he has got to contest. The they wave. can't give up these points. It could be the end of the game. Everyone trying to rotate over, Enable pick it up too. Big ones. But here it is, FaZe are on the rotation. This is not done yet. They're looking for the comeback. Enable now, positive 10. Woo! Pressure coming in from Grandma's. Can they stop the push? Enable staying alive. Saints flies on in. It's still contested. Off the respawn, though. Clayster looking over with the AR. They need to keep flooding. Face now down by eight. They've got players from the hard point, and they're now within five. Face are going to do this. They might win it. They might win it. 246, 244. 30 seconds up to the clock. Everybody going big. Zuma's oh got two. God. Enable's got they're more. Sucks it down, and Face wins. He knows how important that was. Woo. He's won here in the past, and he wants to do it again. How's that for a game one? I have to go change my pants. Oh, God. That was crazy I'm stuff. The crowd on their feet, players on their feet. The hype in the building is real, and that was an unreal finish. How on earth does that collapse happen? Luminosity. No, they just threw away. A they threw away a 53 bomb from Study. Study goes 53 and 39, but at the end, FaZe just trade more efficiently from back rails, and what they really did best was rotating towards middle map. Yeah. LG put so much into getting like, the last three seconds on rails that FaZe got four dead, spawned them out, they had their submachine guns in the hard point, and they somehow make that happen. Oh, that was a wild one. You've heard enough from us. What do you guys on analysis think of that wacky game one? Maven, wow. Jack, that game had every. <laughs> we had a Cerberus versus Cerberus going on, oh a comeback. God. First of all, shout out to the crowd here at Anaheim. I've been saying for so long that the crowd here is unbelievable. They just went nuts, and rightfully 